Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was just playing around with a toy. So I decided I just want to show you how you actually going to capture a frequency and we're going to look at a application which is built in, in SDR Angel uh, which is known as uh, RF Scanner. We're going to look at that. So the setup is quite simple. I have uh, a kid's walkie talkie uh, by Motorola. Uh, this operates somewhere around 422 megahertz. So we're going to try to look at the frequencies. I know it has a crappy antenna. It's broken, but uh, it works. So uh, so what we're, what we're going to do first, I have a setup like this. I have my HackRF, which is connected to my Linux laptop. And then I have GQRX that is connected to an RTLSDR dongle, which is right here. Uh, so we're the first thing we're, we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to use our favorite spectrum analyzer, uh, which is there, which is known as HEC-RF spectrum analyzer in Dragon OS. I'm just going to simply run this first. When I run this first, what I'm going to do, uh, I want to scan the frequency of this walkie-talkie first. So in order for me to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this frequency. I already looked at the frequency, the operating frequency for this guy is somewhere around 410. 430 megahertz so I'm gonna sweep from 410 all the way up to 450 megahertz uh, so let me just change this and just simply change this to 40 and let's let's scan this from 410 to 440 megahertz and uh, this guy is already running I have already because RTL SDR dongle has a sample uh, sample uh, sample rate of about one uh, two megahertz around approximately 1.8 because I'm not using the version 3 one this is actually the very beginning dongle by Nulek which I've been using in my window uh, in, in my videos so this is running GQRX on my Mac OS and this is running Linux um, and the Linux machine is connected to my hack RF so I'm just gonna simply go on and press this button so as you can see uh, when I press this button you can see the activity on the spectrum also at the same time so this is happening you can also see in a spike on my GQRX as well so when I press this you see this small spike and when I remove the button you see the spike is transmitting when I release this there's no spike so spike no spike you can observe the same spectrum on my Linux machine as well that is running hack RF a sweep generator so, so this is how you basically look at it. Uh, what I did actually, uh, I tried this walkie-talkie. It doesn't work very well actually uh, because it's quite old and um, they were spo it's supposed to work around two miles but I wasn't getting that, that much of a range because when I'm pressing this button and I'm trying to use this, I was unable to use it even inside my house. So this is quite crappy but uh, this is just to to see the spectrum and, and, and see what is the transmission, what type of a transmission which is taking place. Uh, the next thing I want to do actually is this. So I'm going to put this aside. Uh, so I'm not going to play with this. Just I just wanted to show you the frequency of my walkie-talkie in two different platforms. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to close this now. And I have my favorite software, uh, which is SDR Angel, which is also running in the background. So I'm just going to simply go in and, okay, uh, let's look at, uh, I've already set everything, uh, my sample, uh, a sampling device, which is HackRF, you can see right here, it's connected, my laptop, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make an RF scanner. In order for you to make an RF scanner, you need to go here, press this, and there's a lot of things which are there you can do at the receiving mode. So I'm using HackRF in a receiving mode and I'm going to choose this to be a frequency scanner. Now, uh, you can use it as a police scanner to scan frequencies. So I'm going to use exactly the same frequencies which are there. So the frequency that I'm going to choose, hold on a second, let me close this first. The frequency that I'm going to choose, I'm just going to simply go here uh, while this is going to scan the frequency in both the spectrum analyzer and in waterfall graph. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to use add range. Uh, 
they have bands for it like for example air band is from 118 all the way up to 137 megahertz i can change this frequency to whatever i want so normally police scanners they operate in around vhf ranges and some do they they do operate at uhf ranges so around vhf range this is somewhere around 147 megahertz so i'm going to choose this to be 147 megahertz i'm going to simply scroll and not this I'm going to choose this to be 147 megahertz and I want to look at the frequencies from 147 to 167 megahertz. You can just simple google these frequencies and you can also look at them as well. Uh, just press OK then. Once you press OK you will see all of these. Now uh, do you want to do a continuous scan or do you want to do a single scan or you want to just do a scan only whatever you want. So I'm just going to simply by, I'm going to do a continuous scan and I'm going to press this button now. Once I press this button, this is going to, and I'm going to press this as well. This will going to start scanning the frequencies from all the way up from 147 to all the way up to 167. And whenever there will be an active activity going on, as you can see it on the spectrum as well, whenever you see the activity, you will see the signal strength of that and you will see how many active uh, channels are there. So for example at 106 megahertz, point, uh, so 160.5 megahertz, you have at least five active counts, then you have six active counts. You can change this to maximum power, uh, you can do a table order, you can do peak detection, you can do total, whatever you want. You can do a lot of things with this. Uh, the other thing that you can look at in this uh, let me make it this. Let me make this bigger, a little bit bigger. Next thing I can do is actually make this thing a little bit bigger. See, a lot of other things. So, so this is how you actually look at it. So there's a lot of activity at 147.9 megahertz, and I can just simply remove inactive activities and I will only see the active channels which are there from 147 all the way up to 167 megahertz. So this is how you will make a scanner. Uh, you can scan frequencies using your RTLSD or dongle as well or you can use HackRF as well. Uh, you can just simply do a stop on it and just simply stop here as well and you can also go to add ranges and let's say you want to scan only broadcast FM you can, it will automatically have all the frequencies set for you just simply press OK uh, you can remove all of them I'm just gonna simply run it to, just to show you I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna run this as well so it's gonna start scanning all of the frequencies as well and whenever it will find a some type of a signal strength it will display those signal strength to you so this is one way of looking at it uh, uh, one way, one of the applications that you can use and to build a RF scanner or frequency scanner using software defined radio and SDR angel. And of course, you can always monitor the frequency of your walkie talkie. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in a comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.